Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honor. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so give ourselves to serve the brother's sacred mysteries. I confess, oh, oh my God, God to you, my you, my brothers and sisters, and in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole Church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Basabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers and to the brothers in Antioch, Syria and Sicilia, of the Gentile origin greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us, have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind. We have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Balabas and Paul who have dedicated their lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to obtain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of genuine animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you give free of this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey upon their arrival in Antioch. They called the assembly together and deliver the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exaltation. The word of the Lord. The response is, I will give you thanks among the peoples, O God, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, 
my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the down. I will give you thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For the mercy towers of the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. Alleluia, ah, alleluia, 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 ah, alleluia, alleluia. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I call you friends, because I have told you everything I heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruits that will remain, that, so that whatever you ask my Father in my name, he will give you. This is, this I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today in the Gospel, Jesus said to his disciples and to us, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. In the Old Testament, the Torah, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind, and thou shalt love your neighbors as thyself. Love our neighbors as ourselves already seem impossible. But today, Jesus commanded us, love each other as Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us so that he has become one of us. He loves us so that he has died for us. If we want to love like Jesus, we have opened our hearts and our minds. We need to be able to fully aware of our emotion thoughts and feelings. 
because of opening our heart allow us to love to change our mind when Jesus touches our heart our mind can follow and be completely transformed the ability to practice love in our daily relationships marriage friends family and each other is actually the main function of human happiness when we give of ourselves and the good for others we actually gain benefit for ourselves god desire us to want happiness because he wants us to be happy the things we chase after hinder our ability to truly enjoy life when we say i want happiness that means happiness is far away but if we take out the i and the want we will see happiness all of you ever with me today we pray with mary in mary let us pray hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death Dear brothers and sisters, we trust and faith in God. We offer our needs and our prayers to Him. For Pope Francis and the bishop in commune with him, that they may be shepherd, that they may shepherd their flocks closer to Christ. We pray to the Lord. For all elected officials, that their decisions may be made to promote the common good and the dignity of every human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have died from the coronavirus, for those who are suffering from it, and for those for the consolation of their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the power of heaven may descend upon the earth to stop the spread of the virus and inspire a quick discovery of a vaccine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you are <clears throat> that all medical professionals may be given strength and energy as they bring care to the victims of the coronavirus we pray to the Lord, Lord you are for the dying and those who have died today may they be comforted for the comforted by the cross of Christ we pray to the Lord, Lord you are for those needs that we now hold in the silence of our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, with your goodness and mercy, be with us. Listen to and answer these our needs and our prayers. We ask you grant them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through the goodness you have received, the bread we offer you, 
the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through the goodness we have received, the way we offer you, the fruit is a vine and the work of human hands, it will become a sweet to the ring. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God as the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice and make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all the louder you is more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the our order destroyed, O universe cast down its renewal, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ, and therefore overcome with passport joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are played. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and for Christ's resurrection. Amen. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, as the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in the presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, is your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in the mercy. Welcome them into the light of the face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be married to the poets, to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through the Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and honor by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of the mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And let us offer each other. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter the mind, but only say the word of my
Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring O Lord that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, proclaim the Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, Defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the business of snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Pentecost, by the power of God, cross in of Satan, and all evil spirits who crowd above the world, taking the Lord's souls. Amen. Have a blessed day.